What's up guys, Madacaster here, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I figured today, let's just do what we usually do, <laughs> go to the junkyard uh, or the salvage auction and try to find us a cool project. And we have arrived at the junkyard. Guys, let me first off start by saying thank you so much for pushing me over 50,000 subscribers. It absolutely blows my mind. Looks like we've got an R34, some type of police car, or is this the Gran Turismo uh, safety car thing? It is an R34. Yeah, Nissan Skyline GTR. That is very tempting. But yeah, guys, uh, it absolutely blows my mind uh, to be over 50,000 subscribers. And I have you to thank for it. Uh, I truly appreciate it. There's really nothing else to choose from in the junkyard today. There's that R34 and this shell of an old Bronco. I would like to do an R34 soon, but a different version. So we're going to let this one go and go try our hand at the uh, salvage auction. See what we can find there. And here we go. The Kowalski salvage cars. Well, I seem to have found something pretty cool here. This is, uh, looks like an F1 car, I would say. Open wheel racer, as it's stated here in the uh, car status. It's really not too bad what's left. Like, it's not, like, horrible. It looks pretty good. But, yeah, I'd say this is more of an F1 style than an uh, indie car. Let's see if we can make a play on this one. I have multiple bidders on this one. And we're getting up there. We're getting almost $60,000. Now it's just down to me and... Bitter number one. Oh, bitter number three is back in. We're at 75,000 and we won it for 75,396. Hopefully we make a decent profit on this one. Let's send it to the garage. And here we are back at the garage and let's go check out our new F1 race car. It's actually pretty straight. Doesn't look bad at all. I mean, of course it's gonna be straight. It's composite body and everything, but yeah, it looks like we've definitely got something to work with here. Let's send it inside to the car lifter. Now, nope, first, got to give it a wash. Let's see what color it is underneath there. It's all just sand. And it looks like we've got red. Got a red F1 car. Could this be a Ferrari? And here we have it. Two very different styles of race cars, but they look good in the garage together. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's, can we move the body? Engine cover. There it is. We can remove the engine cover. And down in here, we have our, yes, engine that doesn't look too bad. Not bad at all. Let's try to do a few diagnostics checks on here. We'll run the multimeter. Maybe we could just get this thing running and driving good and do a few little upgrades and get this thing going. So the results are in and it's really not bad at all. I've never seen one this clean come out of the salvage, salvage auction. Fuel pressure test came out. Everything's pretty good. It does have an OBD2 port, so we might as well do a... Uh, a scan on that, see how all that is holding up. Because I'm surprised, yeah, it's 60s, 60s, 77%, 68%. We got a 59 there. Yeah, this all looks good. This thing might run. Running our compression test here. And again, 60s, 70s. Very nice. Yeah, that all checks out. This thing really isn't bad at all. Let's get the welder out and see if there's anything that it needs to be done with the welder. Use equipment. There we go. Yep. Accept that for 1300 And it's doing something. It's straightening something out, so that's good. Even the tires aren't bad. 77%, 78, 73. I do want to do some performance mods. Maybe we don't even have to take this engine out of the uh, engine bay. Just go ahead and do some performance mods to this existing engine. Throw some money at the performance mods and see what we get. It'll be interesting because we've never done one like this. Every single time we just completely do a complete and full rebuild. Where I think it would be kind of fun to do something like this. Get it going. Have some fun with it. Throw some performance parts at it. And uh, see how much we can flip it for. I'm just taking some of the stuff, the easy to get to stuff out. That I know that there's performance upgrades for. Like these coils and these spark plugs. Just that, that kind of stuff. Be able to throw some quick bolt-on stuff at this engine, see what we get. Because I think stock, it was 600 and something horsepower. We'll look at that here in a second. Get this exhaust manifold off, see if there's a performance version of that. We'll probably do the same with uh, the alternator and stuff like that. Get that one stuck bolt off of there. Only one stuck bolt on that manifold. What about this side? Get this to remove and no, uh, one stuck bolt. I see it over there on, uh, on the right there. This guy right here, take that off. We can get to the front of the engine. It's kind of fun working on one in the engine bay. It's been a while. Get this idler roller out of here. 
It makes it a little hard to get to some things. A little tricky. Got that radiator in the way. Get that out of there. And then I think it has a power steering pump. It sure does. We can get that out of there. Get the belt tensioner removed. Now we can remove this belt and grab that power steering pump. It'll be nice to replace those belts anyways. Probably need it. Batteries at 64%. We've got a charger for that. Pull that out. We'll go set it on the charger. Get that thing freshened up. Here it is right here. Plug it in. There it is. Get this thing up in the air and take a look. It's kind of what you'd expect. There's just a pretty much just a carbon fiber plate here with a wooden piece. Very interesting. Very minimal suspension stuff here. But a well-built mod. This mod was created by Axel Lottleman. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So not too much to see underneath there because it is an F1 racer. Let's go ahead and give it an interior scrub. Not much of an interior here, but might as well clean it while we're here. I think you just got, yep, just a little seat steering wheel. But they got to be clean. Let's sit in it. Can we sit in it? Jump in. Yeah, we sure can. That's pretty cool. Will it start? Let's start. There's no oil. We probably shouldn't do that. Okay, let's get some oil in there and see if it'll start. Oh, yeah, you idiot. You took part half the engine. We gotta go get those performance parts. Oh, man. So, got all these in performance, their performance version. I don't quite have enough to upgrade the, uh, well, the salvage points to upgrade them to three star, but this is still gonna be a big performance boost over stock. No doubt about that. Let's get that all on there. Oh, we could uh, do the fuel filter too. Get a performance one of those. I'll grab that here in a little bit. But these shiny new header, these look much better than the ones that were on it. Tell you that much then we can do our power steering pump on it goes flip around here and i did get new serpentine belts i mean if you're there doing the work might as well put the new ones on it not gonna hurt anything flip around here well, let's get to that alternator and we can do a performance fuel pump too we need to do that that's easy enough to get to not that i'm trying to phone this one in but it's, it brought up a, a unique opportunity to be able to it's in, in good enough shape to just throw some performance parts at it. And I'm genuinely curious because every other time we've gone through and done complete rebuilds, I'm genuinely curious what we're going to get out of this. Oh, yeah. We're going to want spark plugs. And there goes the cover for the coils. All the coils, all the spark plugs, all that were all performance. Let's grab that fuel filter and run over here to the fuel tank, which is mounted on its side. Grab this fuel pump, grab the, uh, the performance version of those. There we go. Oh, and while I'm here, let's go ahead and grab the uh, clutch. We got to get that from underneath the car. I'm going to get the clutch and the pressure plate and all that performance as well. Get the gearbox out of the way. Not even a stuck bolt there. And grab our release bearing. I'm curious why this thing was in the salvage auction. I'm really wondering why that is not too bad grab that clutch plate and flywheel now we'll put on our performance flywheel as well as our performance clutch plate we can do our performance pressure plate there we go get every one of those bolts cinched down clutch release bearing on it goes just reuse the old one and put the gearbox back in from there we'll just have the starter and there it is throw that on we're good to go there. From here, I'm just gonna add on the body pieces. There was a few missing, like this rear clamshell here, and then our whole rear wing. Of course, we're gonna want that. Oh, and we need these little A-arms here. Gonna want that mirror. On that one goes, and on that one goes. There we go, we got the oil in. Oh yeah, we're gonna want the fuel pump too, as well as the fuel filter. Fuel pump in, fuel filter on. We should be good to try to fire this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a new engine cover. That one was showing a little age. Let's get a nice one on there. We'll go paint this in a little bit. Okay, all that is together. Can we start the thing up? Let's find out the moment of truth here. Gotta get to the seat. I keep working ahead of myself. I need to go get this battery. Grab the battery, put it back in the car. In it goes. Now we put that nice new engine cover on. Let's see, moment of truth here. Jump in, and can we start it? Indeed. Oh, that sounds pretty mean. 
doesn't sound like an F1 car. But yeah, it has a V8 in it. So yeah, it sounds it sounds like a uh, sounds more like a cup car over there. Definitely still gonna be fun. Oh, and I've got a tail light. That's right. That should be everything on the body. Let's go get this thing in paint. It actually looks pretty cool in here. And with the red and black, it doesn't look bad. Let's see if we've got any liveries here. We do. We have a multicolor there. Multicolor there. Nothing with real like sponsors I'm seeing, but cool multicolors to choose from. Kind of digging on the blue. Yeah, this blue metallic actually looks pretty good. I'm really digging on that. Let's go ahead and paint it. Yeah, that is nice. All right, let's take this thing over and check the alignment. Make sure the alignment's good before we uh, take this thing out and get too crazy with it. That's a cool shot coming up from the, uh, the pit down here. That's pretty cool. Alignment is good. It was fine. Just fine. Why were you in a salvage auction? Time to see what this thing will do on the dyno. Let's start up the dyno. See what we get. The stock, the factory power that we got from it was 609 horsepower. Uh, pound feet, pound feet torque rating of 557. Not a real high revving engine for an open wheel racer. 711 horsepower, 648 pound feet of torque. That thing is, it's gained 103 horsepower plus 92 pound feet of torque. So a nice little upgrade either way. Brought this thing outside to get a look at it and it looks great, of course. Now we got to take this thing, we got to take it to the uh, racetrack for sure. Told me to top up the brake fluid. Wouldn't let me go drive, go to the racetrack without, said I was missing brake fluid. Might as well just fill it all the way up, right? All right. Okay, topped up all the fluids just to be safe. And here we are at the racetrack. Let's uh, go with some in-car camera first. Bounce it off the limiter. This thing does, oh man, it's a rocket. Okay, yeah, it's fast. It just doesn't sound like what you would expect it to sound like. Oh, but it is fast and it is planted. Oh, this is fun. The brakes are way good. I'll say that much. I'm going charging these corners pretty hard and it. They work well. Kicked out the rear there, kicked it out again. <laughs> Save it, gather it back up. Yeah, this thing is way fun. It just messes with my senses hearing that engine out of this car. Okay, that was fun. Let's take this thing over to the uh, speed track, see what top speed is on this thing. And here we are. Let's go for a speed run. It does have good torque. It takes off. And guys, if you're new here, if this is your first video of mine that you've watched, this is not what we usually do. We usually go through and completely rebuild the car. So it looks like it's shaking a little bit. But we have topped it out at 206 miles an hour. This was just a fun experiment to see if we could flip this thing. I mean, it came to me in such good shape. I, I had planned on rebuilding the whole thing, and we will eventually, I'm sure, we'll find one in rougher shape. But... Yeah, this, this was just kind of an experiment to see uh, what we could flip this thing for and if we could make much of a profit. It'll kind of do donuts. Yeah, the tires are really grippy though. And you get a nice little flip around every now and then. It kind of does. Let's see if it'll J-turn. Nope. That's the best I could do. <laughs> Giving it one more wash before sending it off to its new owner. And find out how much how much we make well it's been real f1 racer that's what i'm gonna call it because it looks like an f1 car to me but it's time to send this thing off to its new owner the body is 84 frames 100 thanks to the welder interior i mean the car is definitely raceable you can definitely have fun with it on track days and whatnot uh, we definitely increase the horsepower and torque a lot of it's looking good a lot of 100 there with all the upgrades that we did and let's sell the car for a profit of forty three thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars Except $118,000 is what we sold the car for, a little over $118,000. And I call that a success. We are now at $765,867, guys. That's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. We'd, we'd never really done one like that. Uh, I, I actually had fun with that. But, you know, I truly, truly enjoy the full teardown and rebuilds. And if you want to see that, think about uh, clicking that subscribe button. Because uh, that's typically what... 
we do here with the Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 videos. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for pushing me past 50,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. It's very humbling. I truly appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't get, it's not lost by me. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it as always, and I'll see you in the next one.